Loyola Ramblers fans packed into Gentile Arena on the Loyola campus one hour before the Ramblers took on Michigan in the Final Four. The atmosphere in the building was electric. Once the game started, the raucous crowd cheered on their team as if they were playing right on the floor in front of them. Loyola fan Vincent Bellissimo said the team's run has earned them a tremendous amount of recognition. No one thought they would even make it out the round of 64, and, and here they are in the Final Four. It's, everyone's going to respect the school of Loyola so much more than they already do, so it's amazing for the program. The energy inside the arena never wavered, but in the end, Loyola lost to Michigan, putting an end to their historic run. Although Loyola's magic eventually ran out in the Final Four, the fans left this building with only feelings of the utmost respect and pride in their team. Seeing Loyola be historic and you know go on the Cinderella run, definitely you know it's 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 a memorable thing. And all the teams that Loyola played will definitely know that you know Loyola was just in some lucky team. Memorable is perhaps the best word to describe Loyola's run. They hit big shots. Custer crossover kicks it. Towns to three. Had great fans. And of course, they gave the world's sister, Jean Dolores Schmidt, the 98 year old team chaplain who stole the hearts of the nation and became an internet sensation. She was a major part of Loyola's feel good story. Meanwhile, just across town at DePaul, the men's basketball program is far from a feel good story. Adam Rittenberg covered Loyola's run for ESPN and is also an adjunct instructor at DePaul. He says that this year Loyola was able to build the kind of success that DePaul has been looking for. They play a really fun style. It's fun to watch them play and we're great creating connections with some of their players and then their sister Jean and their coach is very charismatic. So that builds with winning and DePaul just hasn't been able to create that type of traction. DePaul student Tim Stebbin says he almost went to Loyola. Seeing the run the Ramblers just went on, he feels some regret. Like that could have been me supporting them and being a member of that school. So it's kind of just like angry that their DePaul's not doing well and seeing it so close to home with someone else being successful. Rittenberg says one of DePaul's problems is playing in the tough Big East Conference, where he says they failed to match the success of other conference teams. I guess I just look around the Big East and I look at the investment that the programs have made and I look at the coaching hires and the recruiting operations and just everything that goes into trying to win in that conference and then I look at DePaul and I don't know if they're quite where they need to be to compete. Patience is wearing thin among some DePaul fans, leaving many to hope that Loyola's success will lead to a push for change for the Blue Demons. Evan Rogerson, Good Day DePaul.